My first Olympics was 1976, Montreal, silver medal there. Uh, 1980, I made the Olympic team, but we didn't go, we boycotted. And then 84, I, Los Angeles, I got two gold medals, three meter springboard, 10 meter platform. 88, Seoul, Korea. In the competition, the men's prelims, three meter springboard, bonk my head on the board on my reverse two and a half, go crashing into the water, you know, at first, I mean, I was like, oh my God, what was that? I heard this big hollow thud. Oh my God, that was my head. I was embarrassed. And I still had two more dives. So, you know, I turned to my coach after they sewed my head up and I said, you know what? That's all anybody's gonna remember me for is hitting my head on the board. But, you know, I did come back and I qualified, I think, third going into the finals. And then I came back and won. I was two-time gold medalist, three-meter springboard, 10-meter platform. I was diagnosed HIV positive six months prior to those Olympic Games. Ryan White was the young hemophiliac who contracted HIV through his clotting factor. He fought for the right to education for kids living with HIV AIDS. I reached out to the family and said, you know, come to the Nationals, I'd like to share that with you. Because I figured if, if I reached out to him and was not afraid, then maybe other people might not be so afraid of him. And so he was my inspiration. After I hit my head on the board, I knew that Ryan was a fighter. He was my inspiration to get through that in Olympic Games. And I gave that medal to Jeannie White, his mother. I kind of knew in my heart those were my last competitive dives because I was 28 at the time, just diagnosed with HIV. People were dying. You know, I didn't, I didn't think I would see 30. The biggest obstacle that I had to face was probably depression. I didn't have the coping skills. Addiction is another issue that I've had to deal with. To date, almost 10 years sober. It's interesting because when you bring that up, Oftentimes, you know, with other athletes, it's like, oh, wow, you know, maybe I should think about this and maybe address it, you know, something in their life. Steve Foley, the high performance director of USA Diving, reached out to me. He said, how do we get you back into diving? What we came up with was mentoring. They really stress in recovery, to be in service. And what better service to be in but to help young athletes find their way you know, to find who they are and be true to themselves. David Bodaya reached out to me before I was named Athlete Mentor. And this was 2010, you know, and now he's looking beyond himself. It's not about the glory of the sports. It's something bigger than himself. I think my path has been the ability to share who I am in an authentic manner. I was fearful that I was sharing all of my weaknesses, but what I learned was by sharing my weaknesses, I was actually sharing my strength. My tips for elevating yourself in retirement are being a better person today than you were yesterday or do something kind for someone else without the expectation of having anything or getting anything in return.